That just might mean that I'm being an idiot. So far, we haven't been able to figure how to make the seat taller, and it's a little bit of a stretch if you're a small person. This is the Smart 4.2. This is a 2014, and it has a, the roof is pretty much all sunroof. This is the interior. Smart 4.2, it's so cute. It's pretty dang cute. I just bought this car. I've been wanting an electric car. And I'm a bad influence. Yes, I've, I've gotten the encouragement I needed and a good price. You can expect to find one of these, I would say, for under $6,000. Apparently, they made a big improvement in 2016, according to Consumer Reports. But I'm enjoying this so far. Lots of windows. So as you see the odometer and what's the other thing that's on the dash? Well, according to that, you have like zero charge. <laughs> that's Can you not right. charge your car? They were supposed to charge your oh car. Oh my God. Is it, it's in drive. It says ready. See how it says ready? Oh, you missed it. Oh, I know. Sorry. So this happens, this has happened, it happens occasionally with my car, is that it seems to be on, but it won't. Do and uh -huh. so they just turn it off and restart it, and you know I have no explanation. I just know to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh -huh. you know, I'm sure Colin can figure out more about you know these aspects of the vehicle. But here we are driving a what is it Smart called? Smart four two. We're driving. It's little. It's like a little <laughs> mousy. We think it's adorable. It's white with black. What did you pay for this, Kitty? I paid $5,500, but then they tack oh. on this $200, whatever, paperwork, blah, blah, blah. They blah, always fee. tack on. Right. Yeah, we can count on that. And then my tax in Nebraska, which I think our taxes are kind of high-ish, is going to be like 300 and something. Where am I going? So we are in Omaha, Nebraska, where I was unable to get here from the West Coast with my electric car. No matter how I look at it, no matter how I try, that just was impossible. So sad, 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 sad I had to drive an ice out here, internal combustion engine. Nonetheless, I was able to influence my friend Kitty That's in right. such a way that they <laughs> got really excited to, you know, look online at some cute little bitty electric cars because Kitty wants to just drive her car around town, go to work, come home, do some errands, you know, so she doesn't need like a huge range, she doesn't need a Tesla, she doesn't need a, a Bolt, I mean those things are great, but you know, Kitty was looking to keep her pass down, That's and right. so, you know, she found this deal in Lincoln, Nebraska. They had no idea what they were selling. Yeah. They it's a sell dealership, electric. and they oh. only had one electric car in a lot, and this was it. And they, they knew nothing. They knew even less than Kitty knew. And Kitty only pretty much knew what she'd been told by me. <laughs> <laughs> Tragically. And uh, so I and we're going to go around. Don't yeah. worry, recon is not complete. Sometimes you got to look around for chargers. And they don't always make them obvious. They're not usually well signed. It's yes. just part of the adventure. Also, like, oh, don't smash into us with your eyes. We got this little car. We drove down to Lincoln. Charge hub. We got the car, but the car, they hadn't charged the car because, like, they don't, they really don't know anything about it. And, um, they didn't even know, they'd never even seen a car charger before. So, you know, I had to tell them, well, here's the level one charger the car comes with. Anyway, and, I, you know, I'm not trying to make fun of these people. I really appreciate they took the risk of taking on this car at all. And right. They, you know, they were, you know, they were fine to deal with I, as much as I dealt with them, which was not very much. So we bought the car. And um, 
But we couldn't drive it because it wasn't charged. So they promised to charge it overnight and then they said they'll deliver. Because Omaha is how far? Like 40 miles or 50 miles or something from Lincoln. And you know, this is an older model EV and it did, it did have some battery attrition, meaning it was, uh, it's not possible to charge to 100% because it's old and that's part of why it's cheap. And what are you shooting video of anyway, my hands? Ah, <laughs> uh, just out the window, uh, I guess. Okay. It's kind of boring. Here, I can okay. shoot videos of your hands. There's no, that's okay. Hands. <laughs> just, you know, what do people want to look at? Yeah, there's, well, there's not well, a lot to look at. Here is my love yeah. compartment. Yeah, that's something. Anyway, so as I was trying to say, you know, they delivered, they said they delivered the car since they couldn't let us drive it off the lot. We were pretty sad because we wanted to drive it like that second. But, you know, we try to be flexible. And I say, okay, great, deliver the car. So they drove the car up and they delivered it with literally a 0% charge. And I think they Less than a did mile. not know. I think yeah. they didn't even have a clue that they had done that because, hello, they would have mentioned, hey, plug that car in now and don't drive it. So we're thinking, hey, cool, the car's here. We hop in, we drive a few blocks and the car dies. Like, Completely. how? Oh my God, these people have no idea how close they came to killing it out on the yeah. road. On the freeway. And so we killed it and I, you know, I feel bad because, you know, I'm familiar with my car, but I didn't really quite get, I thought maybe the meter just hadn't like kicked in yet or something. I was trying to, you know, I'm a spontaneous person and I hop in the car and go. <laughs> you know, this is our, our official maiden voyage in the smart for two. Which is, you know, a two-seater, a little bitty thing. By the time we got it all sorted out, the car was dead. You know, it, it was fine. Nobody died. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. No injury to the car, as far as I can tell. And we found a safe place to pull off right away, and, you know, we didn't even inconvenience anyone. But we did have to get the car towed back to my friend's house. Luckily, we, I had AAA. Yeah, AAA was handy in this situation. And, um, you know, the tow truck driver, you know, tried really hard to help us and um, so we put the car on the triple charger long story short and uh, charged it overnight so now we're finally driving it which is exciting I still feel kind of dumb but um, <laughs> that's okay you know it's a new car to me I'm not familiar with this car and the gauges are nothing like the gauges the on mine. I could go on and on about why it's not my fault but you know I'll stop there <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so now we're heading for a level two charger. The car had like a 50% charge when we left, and we're only going a few miles, so we're expecting no crises, but you never know what to expect in life. <laughs> it's a learning curve for me, it's a learning curve for Kitty, it's, huge. it's, yeah. it's a learning curve for Colin, his Kitty's husband. You know, and the things that I know about electric cars and about my electric car were only so useful in driving a new, unfamiliar, older than mine electric car but my sense is you know once you know we kind of get past the lumps and bumps of the initial learning curve that kitty's gonna love the heck out of I this little so. car don't you think so kitty? i think so very much so yeah so what do you think so far well i just i love the way that it drives the way all i'm hearing is just the sound of the wheels oh, you know we could probably even turn the air up it's always a little bit of that embarrassment when you don't know your car at all and you're trying to work with a service person or something and it doesn't matter if it's gas or electric you don't know where the gas can thing is you don't know how to undo the and you know the hood and that's what it was like you know so they're asking me questions like I don't know <laughs> we, just, we don't know nothing we know nothing yeah so you know we could have looked at the manual and familiarized ourselves with the car you know that would have been smart but how boring is that <laughs> I mean you got a cute little electric car you just want to take it for a little spin Yep. So anyway, we're taking it for a little spin now, and I think, you know, our experience will help Kitty remember to always charge the car and always check the gauge. That gauge right there. Yeah, that one on the, oops, that That's one on the good. left. Yeah. It's hard to see, but it anyway. Is. It's kind of dark. Um, that tells you how much charge there yeah. is. You know, and it doesn't set off a bunch of, like, panics and stuff when no. you're running out of charge, which would have been helpful in a sense. Scary. So if you are looking at a cheap, used, smart for two, you know, learn from our mistakes. There's always that. I mean, why do we make this video blog? Because we want to help you 
and not to to say that we're perfect and never screw up. More like, well, we screwed up, but you can learn and not do what we did. Check that gauge. So I'll tell you some other things I learned from our little adventure. One was where you live, AAA may have chargers on their trucks. They might help charge, give your car a charge. But you know, like all small cars with low clearance, it's a little bit of a bumpy ride. And I gotta say, Omaha, you could work on your streets a little. Yeah. Just saying. Great little round the town. You can go mousing around. <laughs> you can go to work. You can go grocery grocery shopping and go home. That's pretty much the plan. Isn't it? Charging station available second level. You know, I think I saw that last time we were here. Excellent. Last time I was oh yeah. Uh huh. So is this the way to level two? I'm thinking so. You know, imagine that you're in a massive parking structure. Uh huh. And you could drive around for hours. Uh -huh. How do you find the charger? Oh. You, you know, use the app because it, if it's really accurate, it will show you exactly where the charger is. You just keep driving closer to it until you can see it. Uh -huh. See? Oh, right oh, there, there it is. There's a sign. Charging. There's a sign. We're feeling hopeful. Oh, oh, I want to hug you. See, now that's a Tesla charger. Don't even look at that like it doesn't even exist. I, I shun you. my charger. I shun you. Four hour limits. Yeah, right. we're not going to be here for very long. Okay. We're just going to, this is a test charge. Testing, testing, testing. Clipper Creek, those are always free. We love them. You got to press the button down. Which one? This press one? Press the big button down. There you go. Yay, okay. Now unwind. There's the button I press down. There's a button to press down. Unwind. Now which side do you plug in your car? That one. Uh, for the sake of, for the sake of the listeners, passenger, passenger side. side. Which here in in America is on the right. Looks like a gas cap. But so it's you open not. the cap, and then you open the thing that Colin wanted to call a what? Uh, a juice, a it. juice cap. Don't force it. it. Allow me to assist you. May I assist you? Please do. There is a button here that you push to the right. Ah. That pops it open. Nice. My car didn't have that, but yours does. Okay. And then you're going to no. plug it in. Do I have to push nope. this down? No, nope. you're just not positioning it properly. You're not lining oh, it I up. Oh, I see. So, did it, it didn't click. It didn't click. I, I, it I, needs to click. I believe you. Okay, so try again. It's not usually this hard. It's... But oh. that is a happy sound. So the this thing, this um, what do you call that? The plug. The plug itself didn't click in a position, but sometimes they do that when they get old. However, the charger made that happy little chunk sound that says, "Well, I'm charging even though the plug's a little wonky." And see, power charging. Happy moment. Happy moment Yay. for the EV driver. So now you have successfully plugged in your car for the first time. <laughs> and maybe you feel kind of dumb, but this is why, you know, why we're trying to help people. Right, like, right. You might feel dumb too the first time. You know, try new things. Be, you know, be flexible in your head. You know, be, be the sort of person who likes to try new things and is willing to take the risk to look a little dumb, you know, while they're learning something new. So yay for Kitty taking the risk. I'm excited. Of, you know, moving from an ice car to a electric car. You know, even though this is a little challenging and the people at the dealership really know nothing so they couldn't be very helpful. And you know, I'm helpful, but in a limited way it turns out. So anyway, yay. <laughs> Thank you.